Hey guys, it's Andrea, and today I'm coming at you with a plan with me. I'm currently doing a voiceover in my room, so it might be a little bit echoey, but like I said in my last video, I did put a rug pad in here, so I think it absorbed a little bit of the sound. Um, but I am using the Evermore kit. I think it's super pretty, especially for March or maybe even like an August to like fall transition. So it's like September, I guess. Um, also, you might hear Theo in the background, but today's Theo's first birthday. So we're totally going to allow it. He's such a sweetie and I'm so excited that it's his first birthday. We're not doing anything crazy today. I'm going to have like a little birthday for him and my in-laws are going to come over on Saturday, but I just can't believe it's been a whole year since my little babe was born. Anyways, I'll talk more about that in the spread for his birthday, but let's go ahead and get into this week. So like I said, this week I am using the Evermore kit. I think it's gorgeous and I'm going to be using the matte bronze. I have been obsessed with this foil. I have it like lined up to pair with so many kits. I just think it's so beautiful and it works with so much because it's basically just like a really pretty tone of like a matte gold and it's not like too warm. It's not too cool. It's just perfection. And I think especially for anything that you want to look a little bit more antique or like um, maybe mature even, I think that it really is just, it's just a winner, especially in the confetti format. It just matches so much. So I did use that all over. That's basically all the foil I used. I think later on, I did end up putting a quote box on the top bar and I used a silver quote box. I think it was from Sadie Stickers. I put it on like after the video was done because I remembered and I use silver because obviously I don't have any quotes in matte bronze, but I think that the silver also looked nice with this kit. But also I think gold, rose gold, and even hollow would look really pretty with this. It's one of those kits that I feel like you could use really any foil color with and it would look amazing. I did have quite a busy weekend. So I did have, um, Saturday didn't have any full boxes, but I did have a lot of things that I wanted to go ahead and put in. And for this week, I am color blocking. Jess, Kittenish Jess, has super got me into color blocking again. It's just so cute. I love color blocking, especially whenever the four colors are very different. Um, I just think it looks really pretty and it's very easy to like pick what like little thing and what box to use because I'm like, oh, I'm using purple for this day. On the sidebar, I'm totally going to be marking how many weeks till Disney and then I think how many weeks until we move. We've already moved, but I think that that'd be cute to just have in my planner as a like faux countdown, but like who's paying attention? Who cares? Also, I stopped doing the little scripts in the corners because sometimes I like to do the um, fold out box and then putting the script like doesn't work, but also I have the tabs on the side now where I didn't have those last year, which have the months on it. So it's not a huge deal. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I was going to do monthlies in this planner, but I don't, I never figured out like what to do with my monthlies. I was doing like a secondary memory keeping, but I feel like it was just like a repeat of everything that was in my weekly spread. So I was like, I don't know. And then all of my like life planning I do on my phone or on my like pen, pen planner, which eventually I'll show you guys that too. But so I did end up just taping those shut, but I love like monthly spreads. I love like I just love doing them, but I was just like, this is the same thing over and over again. So I love watching them, but I just don't have any purpose for them personally. So I am a little bit out of frame, I think on this video and the next one, because I got a new camera arm. I love my camera arm. It is no longer attached to my wall. It's attached to my desk and it's really, really nice. And the only problem was is for these two videos, I had it like too short from what I was used to. So like my out, my frame was technically too far away. So I feel like you're in the, this video and the next video, you're going to notice that, um, like I'm a little off on like the view, but I fixed it. And for future videos after the next two, it should be totally in frame, like no problem because I made it closer to me, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, so I am going to go through day by day on Monday. I did go to the doctor. I went to a minute clinic, which I didn't know was a real thing. And it's basically like in CVS, some CVSs have minute clinics and I was like, Oh, that's easy. Like I just booked an appointment and then like then saw like a nurse and they like check me out. So basically I thought I had an ear infection and it's so funny because the last, besides like going to the doctor for pregnancy like stuff or like anything like woman related. 
I haven't been to like a doctor in like forever. The last two times in the past like eight years, I've been to the doctor, which has just been two times. I have went in one time I was like, I have mono. And then this time I was like, I have an ear infection. And both times they were like, it's just allergies. And I was like, sweet. And I totally didn't really listen to her. Well, I did. I ended up taking the allergy medicine and then I like quit it because usually that's what I do. And now I sound like this because it's been like five days of like, this is the end of my allergies. I think um, it was, I was really like congested, runny eye, watery nose, watery eyes, runny nose. Yeah. And then from coughing and sneezing so much and blowing my nose, now I'm like dried out. So I think probably by the next time I do a voiceover, I'm going to sound a lot better. Um, but anyways, yeah, I went to the doctor and she was like, it's just allergies. It's not an ear infection. And I was like, sweet. And then um, we ordered our washer and dryer this day. And then we went, no, we didn't go. I think Nick went and picked up ramen tatsuya for lunch. So, so good. I love ramen tatsuya. I actually think I want to go in the winter to ramen tatsuya because they have a really cool setup. I saw on Instagram where they actually made like an outdoor patio that has like little picnic tables but are like in like little boxes basically um and I love soup in the winter it's like it's perfect then I submitted a huge foil order this day so I had to put that in I submit like two very very large foil orders every year um that are very very stress inducing but I do it just to get like so much done and then I do place like little ones here and there throughout the year um, but I placed a really, really big one this day. So I wanted to put that in and then I had some family time and we watched 90 day bears all on Tuesday. I made the most bomb avocado toast. I had been working on my avocado toast game for like a week now and I feel like I totally mastered it and it was so, so good. And then I started planning Theo's birthday this day. And then I also got a big happy meal box from Kane full of planners and all kinds of goodies. And I was so excited and then um, at night, I wanted an Oreo milkshake, so Nick went and got me one. Amy's is like, and I think it's an Austin, I'm pretty sure it's Austin, brand of um, ice cream. And they have Oreo ice cream. And for some reason, their Oreo, I don't know what it is, but kind of triggers like a Play-Doh. Like when you, when you eat it, I feel like it triggers like the smell of Play-Doh. And I love the smell of Play-Doh, which is weird. I don't know, but it doesn't, ta- doesn't t- smell or taste like Oreo to me, but it's so good. I know, so weird, but like... There's got to be somewhere out there that relates to me on the Play-Doh smell. Then, which I also told Kirsten recently that our, I think it's Dream, the blue, the blue one, the blue one, I don't remember. I don't remember what the names of all of my scents are. I know I'm terrible, but the blue one, I was melting in my room and I was like, this kind of smells like Play-Doh. I high-key love it. Then um, I watched the 90 Day Tell with Nick and then I shopped on Target for Easter stuff. On Wednesday, I went to Target with Bennett and then Bennett played with his new quote-unquote makeup center which he picked out this toy. It's actually really, really cute. Um, it's actually at the old house. I probably should pick it up. Um, but it's like by Disney. It's a Disney princess um, hair salon thing. And it's so cool. He picked it out. He was so excited. I never seen him so excited about something that he picked out because he literally took it home and started like ripping it apart, like trying to get it out. And usually he's pretty patient, but he was like so hyped. And it's really cool because it has all these different little hair tools. And then it has like a cord with like a little like headphone jack looking thing at the bottom and then you plug in all the different tools and all of the different tools like light up or they make a sound or like and I was like that's really cool and Bennett loves like plugging things in and seeing how things work so he was like really obsessed with it and he was like doing mine and Nick's and Theo's hair like all day that day and he loves it and he calls it his makeup center and he like it carries it around and sets it up and it's really cute. Um, then we booked our second Disney trip, which I'm very excited about in December, had some family time and then uh, put in that it was just a really long day on Thursday. I woke up with my neck hurting. So I had been like having trouble sleeping. So I decided that this night I wanted really, really good sleep. So I took a sleeping pill, which normally I take melatonin, but I was like, I want like really, really good sleep because the problem with me and melatonin, I'm not a doctor by the way, um, is that if I get woken up, I'm up for like two or three hours and 95% of the time I get woken up. So I was like, I'm gonna take a sleeping pill. Nick, you got Theo. It's cool. So the problem with that was, is that you guys know a couple of weeks ago, my neck was hurting really bad. Well, I did not move in my sleep at all for like eight hours or whatever, nine hours. And I woke up and I could not move my neck again. And I was like, why? And then it was because I just didn't move my neck in my sleep. So that was a, that, that backfired on me. I was no longer tired, but my neck hurt. 
Then I showered and Nick got Cabo Bob's for lunch. Um, I worked on a collaboration with Kane, which I'm really excited about. So I went ahead and put that in. Uh, we have a lot of collabs coming up actually. He's actually going to be in my seven here, which I'm really excited about because that will be not next week. I don't think it's next week, is it? Not next week, but the next week. Yeah, so it's not next week, but the next week will be my nine-year kit. And Kane is actually who I collabed with in it. And it's super cute little collab. And I just am obsessed with it. And I hope that you guys love it. And I kind of kept the kit a little bit, not the kit, the like bundle a little bit more minimal. Like last year was huge. Um, but I kept it more minimal so I could keep the price more affordable for you guys. And I think it's such a pretty kit. And I love the collab piece. Like I'm honestly like I might keep like 10 for myself. So love it. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. But I'll show you guys that on the Monday before the release. Um, and you will be able to purchase it with other things in the shop as well. So it's not going to be a purchase by itself bundle, which is also going to be awesome. Um, what else? Oh yeah, Friday I had Fat Dragon for lunch, which I never had before, but was actually really good. And I made deviled eggs. Y'all, deviled eggs have been the, the bane of my existence. I also feel like now that I posted that on Instagram, which I have never gotten more responses on an Instagram post, on an Instagram like story post than about the deviled eggs. I still have like ones I haven't read yet and I feel bad. I'm like the person who can't do the like 99 plus. I have to like respond and like and read every message, which I mean I like about me, but at the same time I'm like looking at them still and I'm like there's so many. Um, but I, I got it now and I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for your assistance. But also now everyone sends me egg stuff and I'm like, y'all, I like eggs, but like, I mean, but I do, I appreciate every egg post that I get because I'm also like, does that really work? And then I try it and I'm like, yes, it does. That's so cool. Then I gave the boys a bath. Um, I got a milkshake from Chick-fil-A, which was not very good. And then I watched TV with Nick. We watched WandaVision, Superstore and 90 Day Happily Ever After. On Saturday, we had a family day. Um, I ordered Bennett some new stuff, and then I just put in like a little salty munchkin. I never use these, but I had a really good reason, so I put it in. And then we stopped at Ikea for a pickup. We needed more bins at work, so I just did a order pickup for the bins that we use, like a bazillion of them. I feel like they get eaten at work. Like there's, But we have to have, honestly, like hundreds of them, like actually hundreds of them. Um, and then we stopped at the house and Bennett saw everything. He hasn't really seen everything since like it was all put together. Like everything's like was basically done and he was so excited. He's been obsessed with the house since like, you know, you could kind of tell what it was and you know, he just loves everything about this house. And then we went to Nick's parents' house and we had burgers on the grill for lunch, which were really yummy. And then we watched Monsters, Inc., which I put in Monsters, Insect, because that's what Bennett called it for a while. Now it's funny because whenever Nick's dad calls it Monsters, Incorporated, Bennett's like, no, Grandpa, it's Monsters, Inc. And I'm like, Bennett, you were just calling it Monsters, Insect yesterday. Um, but he is obsessed with Monsters, Inc. right now. We watch it like every single day, Monsters University or Monsters, Inc., and I mean, it's not the worst, like for a while he would like loved, um, like baby shark and like, um, what's that other one? Consume me or something. And, um, what's the other one? What's the big one? You know what I'm talking about? The kid one that has the songs. Ugh, so annoying. But anyways, then I helped Amanda with an experiment, which was really funny. And then I watched 90 day happily ever after on Sunday. I ordered Bennett's new playhouse. We used to have like this play gym thing in the backyard, but we're actually going to be giving that to Brian and Kirsten. Um, our yard's not very flat, so it doesn't really make sense. So we're getting like just a little playhouse because at like part, like the whole playhouse for Bennett, he really only used the like house portion of it. So we figured we could just get him a house and it would be a little bit easier to find a flat spot for that versus the whole play yard. Um, so I ordered that and then I ordered a bunch of house stuff this day because we were getting closer to the closing date so I could and then I put in that I shopped till I dropped because I literally did and then I played with Theo and went outside with Bennett for a while and then I ordered more playroom stuff and I feel like their playroom is so cute so cute maybe one day I'll do a tour of the playroom because I am so proud of like all of the things that I put together for it. And I think it looks super cute and aesthetic and is very functional and has lots of storage. But I, there's a lot of pieces that still aren't in yet. I'm waiting on like this little like book storage thing and this like hutch that I'm gonna probably store like craft supplies in. Um, and then 
there's also like a secondary part to the like main storage system that came broken so that'll be coming again soon but yeah I'm really excited to show you guys that eventually but I've showed a little bit of it on my personal Instagram so if you guys don't follow me there definitely do if you like seeing like house stuff and house updates also I'm sorry this is going up a little bit later than normal I'm actually filming this like day of upload um, which is totally crazy because usually I film it like you know in advance and have it uploaded but I am trying to get back onto my Monday Wednesday Monday Wednesday Friday schedule and I could not skip today I couldn't do it I wanted to get a video up for you guys so that I can continue on my um, journey of like doing what I'm supposed to be doing so I hope you guys like this video I love the way this spread turned out I love the foil with it um, both the foil and the, the kit are still in the shop I didn't use any other foil just the foil from the bundle and I just love it I think there's there's enough that you could totally sprinkle in to like a mixed metal spread too like if you did silver with a little bit of that but personally I'm just gonna save it for whenever I use this foil again because I brought home like 60 packs of it so again I hope you guys like this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next one bye